Basically, in a nutshell, in season one of Grimm, um, my boyfriend on the show, Nick Burkhart, finds out from his aunt that he's actually a descendant of the Grimms, which means that he's uh, kind of innately a criminal profiler. And all of these monsters start coming out of the woodwork called Vesson and these creatures, and he spends most of the first season having to hide this from me because he doesn't know what's going to happen. When and most of season one, he's having to tiptoe around me and hide this, this truth from me because telling his girlfriend that all of a sudden he can see monsters, you know, he's obviously assuming that I'm going to think he's crazy. For most of the beginning of the season, Juliet doesn't know anything. She's curious and perplexed and worrying that maybe he's cheating on her and she has no idea what's going on with him. And then slowly she starts to piece things together as much as she can, obviously not necessarily assuming that Nick is seeing monsters. She knows that something's up that's, that's definitely big and heavy. And at a at certain point towards the end of the season, this woman, Adeline, comes into play and she ends up uh, bringing her cat into my veterinary practice and the cat scratches me and poisons me. And in the, the last episode of the season, Nick finally decides that he has to, to tell Juliet the truth, um, no matter what my reaction is going to be. And right before Monroe morphs to prove it to me that he's not crazy, I uh, pass out and I fall into a coma. And that's where we left off season one.